Hey guys, doing a little more playing around with my new book I'm reading, Secrets of the JavaScript Ninja. God, such a cheesy title, huh? Anyway, so here's our little boilerplate assert. I'm not going to type all this out again. Um, but I want to look at uh, functions and uh, function context. That is, what is this when you're in the function? So... Um, so this is up down here. I'm just going to show, like, if you come from Java, you might have something like class person. And then you can optionally create a constructor here, constructor here person, but you know, public person and whatever. But um, by doing this, you've actually set up explicitly a class. And, you know, by providing this, when somebody says... Um, person uh, me equals new person yeah you're using the new keyword to uh, instantiate a person but really by declaring the class this way um, it's pretty self-evident that uh, that you're setting the context in here to where um, this is not correct um, but if I was inside a method this would point to this new person instance that you're creating. So in JavaScript, it's a little different because it's the invocation itself that um, that causes the function to be a constructor. So for example, if I'm in here and I say var um, me equals new person, that new is what causes the person function to be treated like a uh, function constructor. If I take if I omit this uh, new, I can do that, um, but the person um, that I've set up, I haven't set it up yet, but person function now is not treated as a function constructor. So it's a little different. So let's actually do that. Let's say uh, function person, and let's say it takes a name, and we'll say this name equals name. And uh, let's say this who am I equals a function that returns uh, this current context, right? So this is obviously a function that's meant to be uh, used like a constructor, but there's nothing preventing me from saying var me equals person and omitting um, omitting the new. So let's actually do that. Let's call this bad. We'll call this good equals uh, new person. Uh, I guess uh, we should put a name, right? And we'll put a name here. Uh, who's bad? We'll say Joey's bad. I don't know. So now let's make some assertions. Let's say assert. Um, so bad is going to be returned undefined. So before we do this, let's just explain what's happening here. Uh, in the intent of this constructor function is that if you call it with new person as soon as you get in here a uh, uh, behind the scenes empty object will be created and that'll point to this so just think of in here when I say this person and I pass it Rob obviously the string literal Rob will get passed to name but there'll be this invisible object that'll be created for this function because I called it with the new uh, the new keyword and this will, will point to that empty object. And then we will assign things, you know, to assign properties to it. Like here we have a name property, and then we have a who am I function property. And it will, um, it'll get returned back into um, good in this line because we're using this new operator. So basically, when you have a function constructor, it creates an empty object, and uh, points that to this and then you can assign to it and it returns that empty um, I'm sorry it returns that object this unless I said return something else in which case you know that that won't happen but generally in a function constructor you'll just leave it like this and this it's as if you said return this down here okay that's just that how those work so both of these uh, lines here are legal, the bad and good ones. Let's see what the difference is. Well, 
the bad one where we omit new is going to return undefined. So we can assert that and say bad equals undefined. Um, omit, omitting, hopefully I spelled that right, omitting the new keyword results in undefined. And let's try it with good. With good, um, what do we want to test here? Let's say good name is, go is going to equal Rob. So we pass that in. Uh, name should get assigned. That's not that useful of a test, but let's also say assert. Uh, if we call good who am I, is actually going to equal that instance. Good. So remember, before we make this assertion, we said new person. Anytime we say new, we get an invisible object, or an empty object, rather. And that will be this inside uh, the function constructor, and this will be returned. So when it gets returned, it gets squeezed into this good variable. Um, so whatever was this here is now in good. And so this who am I is going to actually return this. And this is actually the instance. Good. So you might need to wrap your head about around this, but um, uh, let's see. Um, when called using new, returns instance object that was this. Okay, so let's just run this um, in our browser. Okay, so omitting the new keyword did result in uh, bad, as you recall. Uh, func we did var bad equals person instead of new person. And so what was returned is undefined. And then here we asserted that when we, this was a simple one, when we passed Rob in to the constructor, it actually got a sign on the instance returned. And then this is sort of the interesting one. When we called using the new keyword, it returned the instance object that was this. Because remember, in here, in who am I, we returned this. Um, and so when we return this, it's actually the good instance. So it's something you might want to kind of work through in your head a few times. It's a little confusing, but um, important all the same.